Hey guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here. This is the Electricians in Action, where we get together and we talk about the code every day before we go out and fight the good fight. I want to encourage you today, stay strong, keep pushing, let's get to it. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about the two or more small appliance circuits. This is probably going to be a three-day video series, so just hang with me. We're going to do it one piece at a time. Today we're going to talk about where you can run those two small appliance circuits. Then we're going to talk about some exceptions over the next few days and kind of tie it all in together. It's a very important subject. Whether you do resi a lot or not, residential a lot or not, this is something that you just need to know. It can help serve you in many areas troubleshooting, lots of different things. So here we go, guys. So the two or more small appliance circuits. So the code states that we have to have two or more small appliance circuits and they shall serve, meaning that these circuits must serve these specific areas. You're also not allowed to take these circuits outside of these areas and they are required at a minimum to be 20 amps. So regardless, if you want to run two or more, all of them are required to be 20 amps. You're not allowed to take these wires outside of these areas, and you're not allowed to bring any other wires inside of these areas to serve wall or countertop outlets. So let's go ahead and get to it. First, we're going to be, you know, obviously the kitchen. First thing we think about when we think about small appliance circuits, we think about, you know, kitchen countertops and islands. But there are so many other areas that are actually code required to be served by the out these outlets. And I'm going to explain that more as we go. Also, this is going to include pantries. This is going to include breakfast areas. It's also going to include dining rooms. And then the code comes that kind of sums it up with or similar area. So to me, it's anywhere that we're eating, you know, meeting, greeting, serving food, making coffee, any similar, similar area like that. All right. And then also it says refrigeration equipment right at the bottom of this code. So anywhere in the kitchen, dining room, breakfast, uh, you know, breakfast area, pantry, dining room, or similar area, we're going to be running these two small appliance circuits. All right. So let's go ahead. All right, guys, so when we come into the kitchen, we normally will bring a small appliance circuit to the countertop. We'll continue around the countertop, and then, you know, typically we'll stop. Often we'll have the other part of the countertop, maybe left side of the sink be one circuit, right side of the sink be the other circuit. But the question is, can we jump straight from the countertop down to the, down to the dining room? And the answer is yes, and actually we're re required by code to make sure that the dining room is wired from the two or more small appliance circuits. Now we can run a dedicated dining room circuit, but technically it would just be small appliance circuit three, according to the code, and it would be required to be a minimum of 20 amps, and you could not run that circuit outside of those kitchen areas. You could run it to the pantry from the dining room home, you know, home run. You could run it to the refrigerator from the dining room home run, but you could not jump into the living room from the dining room home run. And we're going to talk more about that. So I could jump right on this wall, continue around this dining room wall, and then according to the NEC, I can legally jump straight over to the refrigerator. And then from the refrigerator, I can jump straight over to the breakfast nook. So you're required to have a minimum of two small appliance branch circuits. They are allowed to serve any of the areas that are kitchen eating type areas. You're only allowed to serve one kitchen with these circuits. So if you have another kitchen, you'd have to run another two sets. But we're dealing with one kitchen today. So I've got my one kitchen. I can service the countertop, literally jump straight down to the dining room, work the dining room back to the refrigerator, over to the breakfast nook. Not required to run any more than two, but often we do. And I want to talk about that now. So say if I wanted to run the two small appliance to the kitchen countertops, and then I wanted to run a dedicated refrigerator circuit and then a dedicated dining room circuit all of those are fine they're still technically just small appliance circuits and they have to be a minimum of 20 amps so you're not allowed to run 14 gauge wire to the dining room um, unless you're using one of the exceptions which we're actually going to talk about tomorrow so today we're just dealing with base code uh, you know 20 amp only uh, for any of these areas and you can you know mix them together however you want you can run the breakfast nook and the refrigerator together you can run the dining room and the pantry together you can run the small appliance circuits you know with the refrigerator you can run that however you want they're all required to be a minimum of 20 amps um, ex unless you're using the exceptions we're going to talk about the exceptions tomorrow I'm really excited about it but I just wanted to give you the face value code today there are a few exceptions that allow you to run 14 gauge wire and 15 amp circuits for a dedicated appliance but we're going to dive deep into that tomorrow I hope that you guys um, have a great day and just to recap two minimum of two small appliance circuits and they shall serve the countertops the walls and 
similar areas in a kitchen, dining room, breakfast nook, pantry, or similar area, including your refrigeration equipment. I'm the Electrical Code Coach. I hope you guys have an amazing day. If there's anything I can do for you, just pick up the phone. You can call or text me at 423-895-9341. I'm here just to see you guys win. Let's get to it.